Live Poach's PGA Tour and DP World Tour Venues 2023 The Saudi Arabian circuit recently released some of the venues for their upcoming events in 2023, while others have been leaked. Whether official or not, one thing is for sure, Live Golf is topping the year with the biggest of controversies as quite a number of the revealed venues are either regular golf courses for PGA Tour events or DP World Tour events. That's right, the Live Tour has poached venues from the PGA Tour, and in this video, we'll be taking you through everything you need to know about said venues and more. So make sure you stick around till the end. Starting off the live season will be an event at Mayacoba at El Camelion Golf Club in Mexico. The Worldwide Technology Championships at Mayacoba, formerly known as the Mayacoba Golf Classic, has been played at the Norman-designed El Camelion along the stunning River Maya oceanfront for the past 16 years. But you heard correctly. Norman designed this course himself and has now poached back what is his for live events moving forward, throwing his stamp back at the PGA Tour. Now that is a kick in the teeth. Past champions include now live players Grab McDowell in 2015 and Pat Perez in 2016. The 620-acre resort and residential destination in Mayacoba, which blends through a diverse ecosystem, boasting tropical jungle, dense mangroves, natural lagoons, and a sugar sand beach, will welcome many of the world's best, including Mexican stars Abraham Anser and Carlos Ortiz. The Honda Classic, which is stated to take place from February 23rd to 26th at PGA National in Palm Beach Gardens, will be the competition for the tournament, although Liv still doesn't have TV broadcasting as of yet. To throw a bit more controversy in the mix, former U.S. President Trump will be providing a number of his venues to the Liv Tour. There will be at least four more events added to the U.S. program as Liv is anticipated to return to the Trump Nationals in Bedminster and Doral, as well as perhaps Boston and Chicago. Trump National Washington, D.C. will also host a Liv event at the upcoming season. Yes, the Saudi Back Series has taken players from the DP World Tour and PGA Tour, but now making a sizable venue scallop in Europe and the USA is just the next phase. We already know Liv will be revisiting the Centurion Club in London next year, taking claim to the DP World Tours venue for the Golf Sixes format back in 2018. And next poach is Valderrama, Spain, and if you've been a golf fan for more than a couple of years, this venue must be familiar to you. Not only is Valderrama one of Spain's top golf courses, but it also has special significance for the DP World Tour, which has hosted the now-defunct Volvo Masters, WGC American Express Championship, and Andalusia Masters at the venue and his crown champions such as Sir Nick Faldo, Colin Montgomery, Bernard Langer, Tiger Woods, Lee Westwood, and Patrick Harrington. Despite having a long history, the 1997 Ryder Cup won by the European team in Spain by a score of 14.5 to 13.5 is possibly Valderrama's most well-known moment. After hearing that the renowned Andalusian course would be on the Live Golf League calendar for 2023, it appears that its days on the DP World Tour may be numbered. The Live Tour was said to be in talks with Valderrama, and Valderrama said that the Live Tour had inked a contract for five events spread over five years. Incentives of $405 million will be awarded during the 2023 season. That's right, they plan on taking over for a long while. The Live Golf Series says that its goal is to do things differently, and boy did they mean it. Compared to the DP World Tour's Andalusia Masters Tournament with 262 average competitors in recent years, a shotgun format with much bigger star names of fields of just 48 will help take Valderrama back to the spotlight it deserves. The Andalusia Masters has been held at Valderrama eight times as part of the DP World Tour, but the date and location have been left off the 2023 calendar. Adrian Otegui, a member of the European Tour and Live Golf Invitational Series, made history at the Andalusia Masters by being the first player from Live Golf to triumph on the DP World Tour. Despite not being a member of the PGA Tour, Otegui is prohibited from competing in their tournaments because of his connection to Live. Another venue rumored to be poached by Live is The Grange, Adelaide, Australia, which is said to take place on April 21st through the 23rd. The Westlakes Classic, where LIV Executive Chairman Greg Norman won his first professional match in 1976, was one of the notable professional competitions held at the Grange Golf Club and one of South Australia's top sporting facilities. The Down Under venue, 
which has hosted the South Australian Open, numerous PGA events, and prestigious amateur tournaments like the Australian Amateur, the Australian Interstate Team Series, and the Australian Lady Amateur events, will draw a sizable crowd thanks to reigning Open champion Cameron Smith, Australian stars Mark Leishman, and Matt Jones. Most recently, the club hosted the Women's Australian Open in 2019 and 2016, drawing record numbers and receiving very positive reviews from fans. Moving on to another venue for live events in 2023, we have the Sentosa Singapore, with the event taking place from April 28th through the 30th. A powerhouse of Asia Golf, defined by its state-of-the-art agronomy program and tournament-ready year-round conditioning, the Serapong will be a welcome stop for former Singapore Open champions Ian Poulter and Sergio Garcia. Since 2018, Sentosa has been widely recognized for its commitment to sustainability, having become the first golf club in the world to join the UN Sports for Climate Action initiative, as well as pledging to become carbon neutral by the end of 2022. It was even named World's Best Eco-Friendly Golf Facility for the third year in a row and Asia's Best Golf Course at the 2022 World Golf Awards. The club also earned two further awards, Best Championship Course in Asia Pacific and Singapore's Best Golf Course at the recent edition of the Asian Golf Awards hosted in Vietnam. The Gallery Golf Club is situated at Dove Mountain, northwest of Tucson and east of Marana, Arizona, and is regarded as one of the Golf Week's top 100 modern courses and is listed by Golf Digest as the best course in Southern Arizona. A contender for one of Golf Digest's 100 best courses, the Gallery South Course debuted in December 2003. Most notably, in 2007 and 2008, it served as the location for the WGC Accenture Match Play Championship. The ninth hole at the Gallery is the longest par 5 in North America at 725 yards in length. Tiger Woods has won an event as a professional at only one venue in Arizona, the Gallery. Cedar Ridge Course in Oklahoma, USA is also to be a live venue, as was confirmed by the country club president, Billy Lowry. He added, Major professional events have long been held in Oklahoma at numerous locations all around the state. We're honored to be able to host 48 of the top players in the world to compete at Cedar Ridge. It will be thrilling to have the chance to witness Dustin Johnson, Brooks Kepka, Cameron Smith, and a few other players with connections to Oklahoma in a brand new tournament format that honors both team and individual champions. Even Donald Trump has gotten mixed up in this golf controversy, not because of his unimpressive swing, but because of his golf courses. His New Jersey Golf Club recently hosted a competition in the Saudi-funded Live Golf Series, and it was viewed as the former President Donald Trump joining forces with the biggest controversy in sports, further solidifying his relationship with Saudi Arabia and infuriating families of 9-11 victims who have criticized the startup as sports washing. Now, the Trump National Course in Washington, D.C. has been leaked to be one of the locations for upcoming Live Golf Series events in 2023. The Trump Natural is one of the most magnificent golf courses with too many courses on 800 rolling acres alongside the beautiful Potomac River. But aside from the panoramic setting and the unique design the luxury golf club offers, it has also been a regular venue for top PGA events over the years. Most notably, the 2017 Senior PGA Championship, where Bernard Langer won his record ninth senior major title. It's no surprise then that the Live would covet such a prized golf course, but at the expense of the PGA? We'll have to wait and see how that goes.